Today I wanted to talk about how you can get better photos out of these mobile photography. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time, appreciate you stopping by. Excited to be here with you guys. Excited to be in this space. I wanted to tailor this video not specifically towards the iPhone, not specifically towards an Android operating phone, but just some tips that you can do to really get a better picture out of your mobile device. So let's get into it. The number one thing, first, right off the bat, just clean off that lens. Think about it. You're throwing this thing in your pocket, your purse. I don't have a purse. Would they call that a purse? A man purse? cup holder in your car, drinks just spilling all over it, get a lens cloth, any sort of cloth, use your t-shirt. Try and stay away from the, uh, the finger because your finger has a bunch of oils on it and that actually creates a film over the lens. So I would recommend just getting any sort of lens cloth, really anything you can find other than your, your finger to just wipe. Most phones, whether you're on the Apple iOS operating system or you're on Android's operating system, most phones are capable of having a grid system on your photos. I'm gonna show you exactly how to go in here. So we're gonna go to the camera under settings. So we're camera under settings, and then you'll have this just right on top, second setting down. It just says grid, just turn that on. And then we'll go back into our, our uh, camera, and now we have a nice grid that'll let us line up exactly where we're at, okay? So many times people are taking pictures and it's just a little off-centered, a little, you don't really know what kind of space. Am I crooked, am I not crooked, but this will help. I always set it to grids because it just gives you that visual guidance on what's level in your frame, what's not level. The next one I wanna talk about is setting your exposure and locking it. So you have the functionality to set your exposure. This is really important if you're trying to do a, a hyperlapse or a time lapse of some sort. Phones tend to overexpose images. So this is a great way to bring down your exposure a little bit. All you do, if you're an iPhone shooter, push, hold down, and it'll automatically lock the exposure as well as the focus. Now you can take your finger and drag up or down to set your exposure. Bump it up bump it down, good to go. If at all possible, avoid using the zoom in function. You are losing an incredible amount of data and pixels when you start zooming in. It just doesn't do anything for your image. If you're trying to get a, a truly solid image out of your photography with a mobile device, just try to avoid it at all costs. If you can, move closer to your subject. Get a different angle, move side to side, find a different vantage point. Try and find different angles, try and get low, try and shoot up, try and shoot down, try and shoot through object. Find your subject, what you're trying to shoot, find something to put in front of it, but still keep focus on that subject. Now you can play with the different focus settings and you can, on your phone, you can actually pick where you wanna focus. Which brings me to another point. Make sure your image is in focus, where you want your subject to be focused on, all right? All it is is a quick tap. This goes for both iPhone and Android phones. A lot of the times we're using this as a quick run and gun camera and we're just snapping, which is totally cool. But if we're trying to get a really cool landscape picture or a really good portrait photo, something we're trying to do, or even if it's for your business or whatever, a product, then really take the time to kind of analyze what's gonna be in this photo. Is there anything I don't want in this photo? Like that shoe in the corner. The last tip, trick that I'm gonna leave with you guys is try and find an app. I use Adobe Lightroom Creative Cloud. It's right on my phone. I got the whole platform right here. It is a monthly subscription. I can shoot raw images in Adobe and have the full settings. Let's just go, we're gonna jump in so I can show you. So here's my Lightroom app. It's got all my photos saved in here. But what I wanna show you is if I click on this blue camera icon down in the bottom right, I'm taken to a page that now I can take photos, all right? But it gives me the full functionality of shooting a raw photo that I can then take into Lightroom and edit 
according to the presets that I've created and just apply the presets to a raw photo. All right, you have complete control over your focus. You have complete control over exposure, white balance, and you can even go into manual focus mode with peak settings, moving in and out of autofocus. It's not focusing here, it's not focusing there, but it's keeping that focus on the subject. Extremely helpful to be able to have this functionality in a cell phone, be able to dial in those settings as much as you want. Whew. Solid tips to get some better photos with your mobile device. Try those out. Let me know how they work for you. Let me know if you have some other tips down in the comments. I would love to hear. But I found those few, you can really get some great shots that just kind of take it to the next level of photography with your, with your mobile device. We carry these things everywhere. It is an absolute invaluable tool to be able to just bust out, not carry this big monstrosity of a beast mode camera system with you all the time, right? Take advantage of using your phone and just capturing that better image. All about the functionality trying to use these babies. If you liked the video, hit that like button. Subscribe for more videos like this. See you in the next one.